one. I might have to restart the game. Oh, there we go. Hall of Our Fathers. So it should be Spank and Everest. So. <laughs> Awesome! It does work! The controller does work, ladies and gentlemen! So... Oh look! I even have zoom control on the triggers! It's fantastic! So yeah, one thing I love to do here on this map is come stare at these signs, because a lot of people don't see them. Yeah, I stare at those signs and just kind of whack them, and just destroy them. So this is Hall of Our Fathers. I, yeah, it's one of those really small, just clustered maps. I, it does have an elevated area in the middle, you know, that you can see. I, and sometimes it's a really hard to uh, take care of. We do see both teams coming out here. And we're going to see that battle here for the middle. Ice Witch from Everest already throwing up the... Uh, the freeze spank right now god just working up against uh, another tank there from everest but it does look like spank might have the early the early uh control of this middle point we will turn around and watch the uh spawn there for everest i'm sorry uh spank and everest together Ooh. i believe uh spank is the blue team i need to yeah, it does look like we are missing two players from that team as well. So them getting the control of that point, you know, initially is quite interesting that they had less players, still managed to get it. We do have that Frost Witch there that did get taken down, but putting up that freeze, allowing the red team to just kind of get in there and maybe take it over. We do have Poe Bronco from Spank in the middle there healing up. Orky also just taking some damage. That Ice Witch doing as best as she can does go down there to Gorgeous. And it's still a battle here over the middle, even though Spank holding on to it quite handily. And we do have a tank and a Berserker there with Orkry and Sintan Sintanic. Just, you know, going after. We do have a fight over here off the main point off the main point of contention and we might see a little bit of a uh, spawn camping but no blood in it takes care of that right away we do see a couple of tesla coils up right now and this battle over the middle still going we do see that uh that turret over there just raining fire down on but we do have a tank from spank that's gorgeous stopping all of that fire there from Gunmar Von Wolf's gun from his cannon so yeah this is definitely turning out to be a very very hard fought battle so far even though Spank right now 160 to 3 I mean right now they're trying to keep Everest in their spawn keep them away from that spawn point we do see a turret has been uh, added here to the side it was Kayakazin it does man they ever does manage to take it down but po bronco still sitting there with his paladin on on the puck and kayak is in kayak is in or however you say his name still building up that uh putting his armor on that turret we do have a fight here in the middle but i mean spank handily just laying it down you know, Callista and Zamor and Warlag. I, I, pretty much, it looks like uh, Spank is going to manage to take this game here. There's a nice battle going on over at that other staircase. It is through, however, as all of the Everest players are down. We get almost a full respawn there of Everest players. And, you know, Spank's still down by one player, it looks like. So, Spank doing a great job here with limited numbers and oh and can they can they keep it up those tesla coils doing everything they can i mean this might just go we have negative points now for everest oh, this is definitely going the way of the spank 
Oh, and look at that. Two arm um, getting one shot there by Blood. And I am that the finishing blow there. Such a powerful move. And it looks like Kayakzin going to get taken down here by Warlag and Zamor, maybe. I mean, that's a formidable turret with all of that defense on it. Poe Bronco still sitting on that puck. Mithoven about to come up, it looks like. He won't be able to get up here with those Tesla coils. He is. He's going to get right past those Tesla coils. And those Tesla coils still up, still doing lots of damage here. Spank handily just taking this game. We're almost at that 400 point mark with 100 points left to go. Everest still in negative points. Callista doing the freeze, stopping it, going down to Orkeet. And we see Zamor coming up, trying to take out the turret. Right now, I mean, and there he goes, to the trap of Kayakzin. So, yeah, this game about over. We're, nobody's standing on the puck, so no points being gained right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to stand on that puck. I mean, it's that red ring in the middle. You just got to stay there. Otherwise, you aren't earning points. I mean, we did see uh, Poe Bronco sitting there as the Paladin on that for quite some time. Just kind of healing up from the middle while everybody else just fought around him. Gaining all those points. We are past 400 now. I, how much longer will this game last? I don't know. Zamor doing as much damage as he can. There goes one of the Tesla coils finally. And yeah, I mean, we get another respawn here from Everest. And it does look like Everest on the puck right now. Tuom gaining some points, almost bringing them out of negative. Zamor also up there. You know, I don't see a lot of blocking going on. I just see a lot of smashing. So, I mean, it's... They're still in negative points. So we see Syntanic doing his shield, trying to stop any type of incoming uh, magic or ranged damage. And we're past that 450 point. We're closing in on the end of this game here. Everest trying their hardest. Poe Bronco down there by himself, though he does have blood and running back now, you know, healing up as much as he can. But Mithoven going right after him, just continuing to follow him up those stairs and onto the puck. Five points left. Here it is. There is the end, baby. Looking at those final scores there. Well fought game. The score doesn't, you know, tell how big of a battle that really was. And yeah, looking at our MVPs for each team. Kayak Zin, 29-1 with his gunner, Zamor with the Inquisitor, 3 and 13. So yeah, that is game one of the...